this video we're going to explore the admin list, our first list. So the point of the admin list is to put things that don't seem to have no space anywhere else and also to act as quick reference. So what will happen is if we have people working on a project or our developer who might not know the client offhand like the project manager does, it's important for them to be able to quickly get to the information they need. Now certainly you can put any information you want in your template, but we have, you know, the doctor's name, we're, I'm a dentist, you know, short design, we mostly work with dentists. So obviously this is, you know, has some dental words in it, but so your client's name, the client's company, the website address, what's the primary email. And I also like to have who's the primary contact. We certainly have, as you might know, who's, who's the stakeholder, because you have clients who, where, you know, the boss might be the one who's paying the bill and is a stakeholder, but you're also dealing with, you know, the, you know, whatever, a project manager or, you know, some kind of other person who's actually doing the day to day with you. But you do need to know, like, who is your contact? It's very important. Um, and sometimes there are two people here. We also like to know, is it a redesign or a new site? That's really important for us, because when it comes to content, if we're redesigning a site, we generally don't include additional content for the client. Uh, when we design sites for clients, we do, as part of our packages, we design, you know, we give them content. Um, you know, they can buy content from us that we have. Again, I'm, I'm a Harvard trade dentist. I've written content for our dental clients. They can purchase content from us. And you might have the same thing on your end, but this way for my team to know there are certain things that we do for a new site that we don't do for redesigns and vice versa. For example, stock images. If a client already has stock images on their website and they like them and they're licensed, we don't need to buy them again. Now, these are things here that are specific um, for us that we really added. And um, so in our process, what we do is, um, and you'll see this as we go through discovery, um, you know, and design and development. But what happens is, is we have a spec sheet. So what we do is in our discovery phase, you'll learn that we do, you know, get discovery information from the client. We put all of that in our specification sheet in Google Drive. And so this way we have a quick link and that specification sheet is what are, you know, what's all of their discovery, you know, from, from, the address, the phone numbers, all those things that when you go to say, oh wait, uh, what was the address again? Or what other hours? That's all in the spec sheet. We've got a content matrix and that content matrix is, if we're building a new site, what are the pages on the new site? And what's the status of those pages? You know, are, are they ready? Do they need to be reviewed? Is there an error? They have to be 301 and that's 301, I'm making a new word, they have to be 301. And also we have, um, if, it's, if it's an existing site, for redesigning or they have an existing site, we've got to do redirects. So that's in this content matrix as well. And that lets us keep track of every single page um, that we're working on. And again, the status of that page. And we also use it to design the navigation. So it's a, a twofold uh, task there, twofold serve, um, uh, feature. And then our client assets folder, we have a special assets folder in Google Drive for all our clients. And we use the same client list template or client folder template that we have with certain things in it. We have, you know, the documentation, we have a copy back up of the existing site. We've got a crawl of the existing website. Um, we have these matrices here. We also have, you know, client assets. We have a logo folder. We have mockups folders. We have shared images folders. We have stock image folders because these are things that we repeat every single time we build a website. These are things that we have every single time. And so we will wind up sharing, for example, we have client assets and the client's going to share things with us. Some clients are cooperative, some clients aren't. But if the client can, you know, give us images, not an email and send them to Google Drive, it's really nice to have that. So also when the developers in here looking for something, which we try and make it so they don't have to look so much for things, but the client assets folder goes right to Google Drive. Now over here, um, extra notes. Sometimes there are just some extra notes that go on with the client and those extra notes might be uh, you know, something that we might want to remember. Like, you know, we have a, so for example, um, this might be, you know, Smith Dental Care right now and um, orthodontics, just as an example we've had. And we might say that's the name of the company right now, but so it might not be seen extra notes and we have a client like this, um, you know, when we do the website, remove from any references, remove any references to orthodontics. So at least this way now we know um, that there is, you know, there is something going on here. Um, so the team knows that you can obviously, you know, tag this or mark it however you like. I don't use a ton of tags in ClickUp um, because I just I want to keep things. I'd rather know where things are and then not have to worry about, you know, what tags I'm changing later. And this is the team update thread. This I love. And what we do is here, this is where we make comments for the whole team. Um, and it's for kind of their end of the week thing. What's the status of this project? And so 
sometimes what I'll do is even I'll do um, 202, 2023.09.23 and I'll say, um, you know, bumped clients re images so or whatever it happens to be. And so the idea is that with this section and we see you see it later on when we do it with you know, 10 different projects, but when you've got multiple projects going on and you need to see where we are on each on each project, this is a really great thing because you can look at all your projects at once. And again, later on, we'll build, we have a you know, filter um, or a view at, at the, again, at the space level that you're gonna see where we can look at this view and say, show me a view of, um, you know, all of our SAE team client update threads. And so this is really, again, for us internally, for our workflow, we do use, um, you know, a team inbox because we've tried using a regular inbox and we're sharing it you know success at email and gmail and it's just it's just too difficult my team is fantastic we are smart people and it's too difficult and maybe just you know not for us but what we do is we use a team inbox now and so we have specific and we'll talk about this more when i talk about our internal process but we specifically have um you know we don't really communicate team wise in email a lot we use our team inbox for client communication, we use Slack for our internal communication, and we use ClickUp for really just kind of very, very big picture overviews, because we find that getting into the nitty gritty of ClickUp isn't always the best workflow for us and our clients. And in another video, I'll talk about, you know, how we use ClickUp and how we don't use ClickUp, and um, we'll go from there. But now we can see we do have some extra notes here, so the team knows to look. And that really covers our admin section. Oh, there's also a board view here. I mean, I don't use the, I mean, I don't see a need to use this because because we actually don't need to uh, go through our steps. You know, it, just, it doesn't, you know, the, the statuses don't make sense for um, for an admin board. But, you know, when, when we get to discovery, which we'll go through next, you'll see that um, the statuses do, you know, do, you do need a different for statuses. So some people who like to look at boards, and again, this is the status that we're not going to look at. I wish ClickUp would let us have a way to save by default so you don't have um, this over here, be, you know, that you don't have, you can keep this closed, but it is what it is. So anyway, but you've got a board view and overview by task view. And so in the next video, we're going to get into our discovery phase and really get into the nitty gritty of how we do our discovery. And um, yeah, it's, it's, we've, we've gone over this for years and really tightened it up and we're thrilled about how this works now. So stay tuned for that in the next video. We're going to go over our discovery phase.